Hello everybody, welcome back to Lost Valley. We got some things to do today, it is the middle of summer, almost 12 o'clock. And uh, yeah, we missed the first day of summer. Um, well, we didn't miss it, I mean, as you can see, we got plenty of potatoes out of the deal. We have a bunch of sacks full of potatoes there. But it rained the whole day, so it wasn't much else we could do. Uh, we did a bunch of fertilizing contracts too. And that's where all the money came from. $111,000 is what we have right now. We bought a tipper to go behind the Kubota. So we had a little bit more money, but... 111 that ain't bad. That ain't bad. That's one day of fertilizing contracts, and... Man, I tell you what. There's some good money in that, right? I think we ought to just forego the rest of all this stuff, and we'll go full-time into the fertilizing business. It's, uh probably the way to do it but nah we're going full time and everything else right yeah ain't got time for that so we're gonna go take these potatoes throw them in the washer take them out of there put them in the sorter you know you know how that goes also the silage bunker is ready so we're gonna uncover the bunker i think i'm gonna try to pick it up with the loading wagon um just because i don't want to do it a bucket full at a time you know <laughs> i'm kind of lazy but other than that uh, yeah, we'll get it up somehow, but it would be a lot easier, and I think it'll work. I've done it before, so we'll see why not, but yeah, we're going to do that with the loading wagon. Then we can take it and sell it, and, you know, easier than, hmm, easier than uh, doing it by the bucket full. All right, let's see. Is this going to work? Yeah, perfect. We could drive a little bit. Whoa, yeah, take that. Told you, truck. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's try this again. Oh, yeah, this is going to work good. So we had... Excuse me. Lost my voice there for a second. <laughs> we had 15 sacks full of potatoes. So we got quite a few this time. Uh, like I say, it was a rainy day, so I didn't have anything else to do. Um, stand there in the greenhouse and load up potatoes. So that's what we did. Oh, come on. That's just silly. Why would you do that? I don't want to pick the truck up I'm standing on. I mean, I know I'm strong and all. All right. Well, that's just... <laughs> we're getting out of hand here. All right. Uh, I guess I got to wait till the thing pops up. Otherwise, I'm going to throw my truck up in the washer. All right, almost done here. Two more. And there. So, let's we'll see what we got. Ooh, 7,000 liters. That's nice. Uh, also, check this out. It's the gas can. The, the missing gas can showed up. So, um, when I brought the uh, Kubota on the trailer over here the last time, when I was unloading everything, I looked, and it was in the bed beside the uh, gooseneck. I swear it wasn't there earlier. Like, I went back and looked at the camera, looked at the video. It wasn't there, but it was, yeah. It just showed up right there beside the gooseneck, so we got it back. I took it out and left it here just in case. Uh, I probably, instead of just in case, I should probably say when I run this thing out of fuel, right? It's just a matter of time. Um, yeah, we're full of water. We got plenty of potatoes. All right, so we're gonna let that thing go. Take that truck. I'm gonna show this truck who's boss before it's over with. Um, I think I was talking junk earlier, so you gotta show it what's up. All right, so head back to the house, grab the Kubota, we'll put the bucket on the front, we will hook up to the loading wagon, and we will go uncover the silage bunker. So that'll be fun. Make a little money there. Uh, also, oh yeah, we did make some money not just on fertilizing contracts yesterday, we sold some firewood. Um, Luke come and picked some up, took it back to his pops, so we made some money there, and seems like I sold something else. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Mm, watch out. Come on through. Watch out, people. Uh, let's see. What are we doing? Oh, we're going silage booker. We need to go this way then, right? I always go one too soon. Yeah, actually, I don't think there's a road right there. 
We need to make a road right there, don't we? Check out our new little tipper. Huh, isn't that cute? It's a tiny little thing. Yeah, it's perfect. All right. Drop that off. We'll see. We'll circle around, grab the bucket real quick. And head up to the bunker. Oh, watch out for the planter. Excuse us. Coming through. I'll tell you what. This yard is looking junky again, isn't it? <clears throat> it is time to, I think, load the uh, trailer up and take everything up to the pig farm. So everything we don't need here, time to get rid of. Uh, it'll be a lot cheaper to do that than to get a divorce. So, yeah, we'll do that and get it over with, right? Because, yeah, after we do this, it's the second day of summer. There's not a lot else to do. We're, you know, we're waiting on stuff to grow. I do need to invest in a sprayer at some point and spray these weeds, but we don't need a big one. We don't need a lot, so we'll look around the rummage pile over here at Mr. Chris's, see what we can come up with, and see what we can barter for. There we go. 86,000 liters. All right, I'd forgotten how much was in there, so that's quite a bit. That's not bad. And it is grass silage. There's a couple of different kinds of silage on here. All right, there we go. Whoops, I don't want that either. Try to empty the bucket out nice and smooth. All right, well, everything's uncovered. Let's see, we'll drop that down, turn that on. Oh. Look at that. She sucked it right out, didn't she? Good job. Man, that is impressive. All right. Well, I'm going to go find out where we're going to sell this stuff at, and I will make that trip. We don't need to do that at 26 miles an hour. So let me go get this stuff sold. We'll see what we make and uh, see if we can get the rest of it out of here. I'll be right back. All right. Well... We're over here at Red Straw and Hay here at the edge of town, just over the bridge. And check out this big whopping number we're about to lay on the board here. This is the last load of silage. And we make a whopping $972 a load. <laughs> but, you know, at first I wasn't impressed with the first load. I was like, oh, that's not a great number. But, and I thought about it, and this is literally grass I cut with a lawnmower. <laughs> like, how... How much money do you want for it? You know what I mean? Like We didn't put that much effort into it. So uh, we made $5,000 off of that. That's that's pretty good money, right? Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I uh, had to change our perspective there a little bit. Uh, well, I guess we're, we're used to mass producing numbers in silage pits. And uh, it's just, just wasn't what we had there. So yeah, if, I mean, for a lot more, that 86,000 liters, fabulous. Free money. That was uh, five or six thousand dollars of free money there. More than paid for the um, sprayer and herbicide that we bought. So we're going to go pick that up after we drop the trailer off here. And we'll pick that up and go spray some weeds in the field finally. Uh, I think after that we can spray some fertilizer too. Excuse me. Um, one of The oat field is not fully fertilized. The potato field is. Uh, the oat field is not, so... We can make another pass over there, too, while we're doing some chores. Uh, like I say, other than that, it's the middle of the middle of summer. And there's not a lot else to do. Mm, beautiful day here. Maybe we'll take off and go do something fun. But, yeah, there's not a lot to do work-wise. Let's see if we can drop this off on the run. Ooh, perfect. Watch out, chickens coming through. We still haven't filled those egg boxes up yet. <laughs> Might take a while, of course. Oh, we finally got more chickens. We've we're, we've made three chickens now. We had 24. We're up to 27, so. We'll get there eventually. We'll start making some eggs. Uh, is this the right side? Sure is. Now that holds a whopping 159 gallons. It is measures in at 6 meters wide. Quite a unit we got here. Quite a unit. That's all right. perfect for what we need it for, right? Look at this field. How much wider do you need to spray some weeds? I guess we gotta find some weeds first. We'll just drive through the oats. Uh, I, now, come on. I was gonna say, I know there was some. There's a reason we bought this thing. 
All right, let's see. Ah, perfect. Been a while since we actually done this. Not too bad. Not as bad as I thought they were. I thought we were, uh, had a whole field full over there, but just kind of one little section here, which actually, that's that's beautiful, right? We got, um, don't have to cover the whole field with the sprayer, so we're just, when we're doing it in spots like this, this is the perfect size sprayer. Nice controlled little path there. Yeah, it looks like it's fertilizing too, so. Whoops. Miss, so. Uh, definitely making the dirt darker, and I guess it's changing the ground state. Yeah, because it's not. Oh, okay, so only half of the potato field is fully fertilized. We need to do the oat field and half of the potato field. Good. Give us something to do. A little dead spot right there, don't we? Well, this is kind of fun. I'm going to go spray some weeds now. Go, go hunt some more down. Or if there's, there was a, some kind of spraying contract. I thought. No, of course not. Just one sowing. Everything else is fertilizing and transporting. Must have been yesterday during the rainy day. Uh, I think that was it. Wow. All right. So, <laughs> uh, I think we paid four hundred dollars for the little sprayer, and twenty five hundred dollars for the pallet of herbicide. So we're three grand into what did we use it for thirty seconds. <laughs> it didn't, didn't take long, did it? That's all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll get more fields eventually, and we'll be ready for some weeds, won't we? We'll be ahead of the game, so. All right, let me take this over here. Drop this off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we're going to go take the truck back and check on some... What are we checking on? Potatoes. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go see if those things are washed so that we can sort them. I'll be right back. All right. We got here to... I brought this sack with us out of the greenhouse. And I found this one laying in the grass. Had a little hidden one there, so I must not have counted when I threw them in there. We'll throw that one in there. And we'll try to pick up our truck and do weird things. Give that a toss. And... Yeah, it did wash it. Okay. So we have 7,000 liters of washed potatoes. Let's go ahead and get the uh, skid steer fired up here. We will take them and put them into the sorter. So, uh, in theory, now that I think about it, I've never tried to see if this bucket has a hit trigger in it. It sure does. Wow. It sure, sure does. All right. Good. Let's take this, throw it in here. I don't know how big the hopper is. Oh, gosh. This thing does this stuff for crap. I'm going to get these brakes worked on. Take this thing back to Mr. Chris. Ask for some help here. All right, let's see how much we can all hold. Got our little hopper here. Looks like it's going to take the whole bucket, doesn't it? All right, perfect. Oh, that's going to take a couple more buckets. That's only 37%. All right. Perfect. Get this thing... Let's see, that was 1,500 liters. This will be 3,000. So almost half of what we had in there. We might make some good money off potatoes this time. Last time we did it, we only uh, we washed and sorted like four or five bags. It wasn't much. And we didn't make much. Yeah, it was uh, a learning experience for sure. But we'll bring them over here to our store and we'll sell those things, won't we? Put them right out there for a sale. All right. Uh, oop. Already done. Uh, I guess I should check. Keep getting out of the wrong side of the tractor. 75%. I don't think it'll take a whole nother scoop, but we can have one ready, can't we? We're going to need it eventually. Uh, 
Perfect. All right. So, 13,000 in the bank. We did take a hundred grand, pay it to the bank. We had, we owe $400,000. So we need to get that paid off so that we can go buy a cattle farm. Also, so we can expand this pig farm, make it viable. Yeah, got to get that bank loan paid off. So as much as I wanted to take it and spend it, there really wasn't a field that I wanted to buy. I mean, there's, there are some fields I want to buy, like this one and that one, but there weren't any I could buy that I could afford. Let's put it that way. These are all really, really big fields, so we'll have to wait on those a little bit. Um, the field that we did the hemp in, the hemp is ready to harvest. We had done a couple plowing contracts and cultivating contracts and fertilizing. I mean, it's we did some work to that field, so uh, we did the planting, as a matter of fact, planted the hemp on there. So it would be nice to buy that one and make a ton of money off of it, but it's $320,000. So, yeah, this is just no way. There's no way, even with our hundred and what thirteen thousand dollars, we're not even close. All right, so we're full there. Leave this for a bit. Oops. And none ready yet. All right, so we need that pig food to fill up too. That would be nice. We can spawn a pallet. I think the pallet spawns right here. Uh, of pig food when it's done so we could use that for sure take it up to compensate for our pallet that we bought at the store which is i think it's just about halfway gone so i mean we got we got some left seeing we only have three pigs so uh, it lasts a little bit but it would be nice to have another one especially a free one there oh 38 percent all of a sudden fit in there all right so that's how this is gonna go you can see how this is right take the potatoes sort them out pull them out of the washer we're still filling this thing up not for much longer 1600 left that's all we got still pretty full of water though it doesn't use much water does it I think it's very efficient I like it I like it all right so we're going to throw this thing in there. This will be the what, second to last scoop. What did I say? Yeah, it was like 1,600 left. All right. So there we go. We'll get this taken care of, get it sold. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if we'll get it sold yet, but we'll get it sorted, I guess is what I was trying to say. So we'll take the other 1,600 out of there after these are done and get them all prepared. We're going to cut this one a little bit short today. Uh, we've got a couple early days this week. We need to knock them out and need to get our beauty sleep. So I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.